Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be working on this pop stick and we're going to create a nice, simple and easy but effective gel nail design. Everyone is into simple gel designs at the minute, so I thought I would share some with you guys and hopefully give you some inspiration and tips on creating them. So imagine you were working on your nail, of course you want to have already done your prep, cleansed away any dust, applied your base coat and then you can come in with your colour. So I'm using negligee which is this really pretty kind of neutral peachy colour, it's so fresh and beautiful. I applied my first coat, I've cured it in the light for a full 60 seconds and now I've just applied my second coat and I'm going to go ahead and cure that for a further 60 seconds in the light so we can come in with the next part of our design. I'm going to be using Minty which is a stunning kind of pastel green but it's got a real vibrant vibe to it and it's such a happy spring colour and I absolutely love it. I'm adding some to my palette and I'll be using the size 0 from the Baddest Liner brush set. I'm just loading up my brush making sure that it's loaded with plenty of product and smoothing it out on my palette making sure that all the bristles are laying together. So the next step for this design, it's going to be a beautiful, bright V French nail with two colours. So it's going to be super poppy and cute. So I'm excited for that. I'm coming in with Minty and from one side to the other on an angle, I'm going to mark my boundaries where my colour is going to be placed. Now I'm switching over to the bottle of gel polish and just using the regular brush and I'm going to fill in that area. Of course, if you wanted to carry on using the liner brush to fill it in, you can do. I just find it's much quicker and you get a nice coverage by just dipping into the bottle of polish. Once I've applied my green, I go ahead and cure it in the light for 30 seconds. You just want to make sure it's fully cured. Um, just to the point where no product's going to move around and then i'm going to come in with sleepover i'm going to decanter some of that out onto my palette as well and follow the same process but this time we are going from the other corner and all the way up and just really filling in the same areas on the opposite side of the nail so i'm marking out my boundary again making sure that it's nice and straight I did go a little bit wonky, but it's easy enough to kind of, you know, fix it up. And make sure it's super pretty and looking bomb. And once you have it exactly how you like, you're going to come in and fill that area in as well. I was kind of tempted to do kind of some line art and something extra. And then I said to myself, stop. I wanted to do something simple. So I kind of, you know, made it a little bit messy. And then I just came in and filled it in as I did with the other side. Does anybody ever do that? You start doing a design and then you kind of, it goes all AWOL. You start doing random different things. I do it all the time, but I really wanted to just stick to what I'd planned. So yeah, I'm coming in with sleepover, filling in that area. And then I'm going to do a full 60 second cure in the lamp. If you didn't already, please do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Once I've cured everything in the light, I'm going to go ahead and apply my super gloss no wipe top coat, which is the bomb. I'm going to apply that to the whole nail, make sure I cap the free edge and then that is it for this design. Obviously stick around to see the close ups and the final look because damn it is juicy. It is mighty fine. It looks so pretty and I love how it turned out. Anyway guys, yes, thank you so much for watching. This is the final look. If you did enjoy and you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. As always, remember you are bomb.com, lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye.